Alrighty guys, so the hard part is over. Now let's just go ahead and do the easy stuff. So in my main activity, what we're going to be doing is, remember, implement and top section fragment dot top section listener. Sweet. So again, I already explained what all that does. And our promise that we made to top section fragment is okay. I promised that I was gonna have this great meme that you can talk to. You, wah, wah, wah. So let's go ahead and hit Alt Insert and implement that method. Create meme. Actually, let me add a little comment right here. So I'll put this gets called by um the top fragment when the user clicks the button. So now you know when this gets called. There you go. Now before we actually start adding any code to here, and this is actually really simple, it takes like two lines of code, what we need to do is we need to have a method in this bottom picture fragment, and all this method is going to do is, let me just go to my activity main. So this is actually going to be really easy. It's not even any weird communication stuff. It's just normal Java. We're just going to get a reference to both of these text elements. And then we're going to set the text of them to whatever gets passed in. Simple, easy, wheezy stuff. So, all right. So under view group, of course, we need to import one thing. Android.widget.textView. And both of those things are text view. So that's why we only need to import one thing. Now, of course, we need to reference both of them. So static text view. And I don't think I actually so it's in the bottom picture. All right, text view. All right, so I didn't give them an ID. Should I? Yeah, I probably should. All right, so where are you at? Where are you at? All right. So for the top text view, let's just go ahead and give it an ID of, instead of text view, I'll just put top meme text. And for the bottom one, I'll give it a text view of bottom meme text. All right, so now they have IDs that are a little more proper. So private static text view, top meme, text and private static text view bottom meme text by the way it's Christmas Eve so happy Christmas Eve or uh, I don't know I don't say happy Merry Christmas Eve I don't know what you say just never mind you know what just forget about it <laughs> all right so now that we have variables that can actually Accept a reference, let's go ahead and create those references right now. So top meme text, we already know how to do this. Cast that bad boy to a text view and view dot find by ID R dot D dot la 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 where you at top text. That's actually not it. Top meme text. Now for bottom meme text, set this equal to view dot find blah, 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 r dot id dot bottom meme text so again both of these variables right here reference this bit of text and this bit of text easy enough so now the only other thing we have to do is we need to create one last method public void set meme text now what this is going to do is it's going to take two parameters, string top and string bottom, and it's going to set these text fields equal to whatever we pass in. So top meme text, set text equal to top, and what was our other one? Bottom meme text, set text equal to whatever we passed in for the bottom. And that is actually all we have to do. So again, just to recap one last time, we imported this. 
so we could actually use those things. And once we did, we could create a reference to that top and bottom text. And why did we need a reference to them? Well, since we can then programmatically change the text of both of those widgets. So thank you guys for watching. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be finishing this up and running it. And hopefully it'll work.